According to the Deputy Minister for Land and Natural Resources, George Merkuduka, the small-scale mining sector alone can take care of the teeming youth likely to be affected by the impending job freezes in the public sector. The minister says over 1 million people are employed in the small-scale sector and about 40% of Ghana's gold production comes from that sector. George Mirikuduka argues that a total ban on small-scale mining would impact over 5 million people. He, however, is worried about the trend where traditional authorities issue orders of total mining ban in their communities. If the people of Tapa wake up today and say we don't want mining, it means we have to cease mining in the country. Applauding a chief may be okay. But what of if people also emulate same and say we are also going to stop mining in our jurisdiction? People of Obuasi say we don't want mining anymore. Companies must close. Is that how we want to govern the country? I think, yes. If people are mining irresponsibly, we need to address that. Be doing that to support the country. Now that we are going to butter the gold and the oil, we, we need to support the country with whatever we have. Cocoa, we give cocoa, we give oil, we give gold to this country. We need to be careful so that we don't uh, create any kind of situation where tomorrow others will also strike. The government has since 2021 inaugurated 16 community mining projects under the community mining scheme. But several of these community mining projects are yet to kick off because of concerns raised by traditional authorities.